Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be releasing the last kind of major part of the rack. Uh, there will be another video after this that's basically the assembly of the rack, and then I'll release the kind of main assembly file that's got all of the components in it as part of, you know, the assembled step file. But for now, uh, you know, I've got some things going on with my network here at the house where I'm upgrading that and I'm upgrading my NAS and stuff like that, so I... I um, haven't had a chance to produce that video yet, but anyway, uh, what you're going to get today is this uh, this Raspberry Pi tray here. So this works for th uh, three and four specifically, but probably also two. Um, in addition to that, you'll get this faceplate here. Uh, so you know it's a pretty simple part. Um, you know, obviously it snaps together like the other ones. Um, yeah, you know, you have your 30 millimeter uh, fan slot here. That's for your uh, your Pi fans, and then of course your uh, at a fruit uh, Pi OLED. Um, you know, there's also a little bit of complexity here with that thing. So I'll, I'll walk you through that in the slicer. But anyway, so current status of the build, um, you know, I've got my, I've got my rack essentially printed, right? Um, and I've got it, you know, to a point where it was mostly assembled, but then um, I needed to uh, change out the network cables in order to make sure that they were long enough to work with my switch. So I'm essentially rewiring all of that. Uh, which, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but also it's going to allow, uh, you know, some um, some good video and assembly guide uh, from my build so that you can help with yours. So I'm hoping to have that released at some point this week, but, um, you know, there's a lot going on and I, I have a bunch of parts that are going to show up to upgrade my NAS today and I've got to get that assembled and stuff like that. So there's a lot going on here at the house. Um, Aside from that, uh, you know, I, I hope that your builds are going pretty well. If you haven't joined us on Discord, I encourage you to do that. Uh, there's a link in the description for uh, for that. Um, so go ahead and join us on that server. Share, you know, your build questions. Share your build status, pictures, ask questions, what have you. Any anything that you want to talk about, there's, um, you know, there's a chat for. Uh, and then let's see, um, hmm, okay, what's next? Well, uh, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do from, you know, a, a content perspective after the, the Pi Rack is done, right? Um, so I'm, I'm open to suggestions from you all, but I think what I'm probably going to do as the first part of a new series is going to be what I use, uh, you know, Kubernetes for and, you know, why it's, uh, why it's a useful tool to have in your home lab. Uh, so that's probably where I'm going to go first. And like I said, I'm open to suggestions. So if there's anything that you want to see, um, you know, by all means, chime in and uh, feel free to let me know. Now, uh, back to this part, let's go ahead and pop over to the slicer and I'll show you how we slice this thing. Um, so first, let's talk about the tray itself. Uh, you know, pretty simple. If you've printed any of the other trays, you know, it's just, you know, change your change your settings to five and five here and then slice. Uh, there's no supports or anything like that. Of course, I'm on Perchment PLA. Um, yeah, so two hours, 28 minutes, so not bad at all. I will tell you though, you know, be careful with these pins. They they are a little fragile. They will break. Um, same for these, of course, but that's just the way that they print, right? Um, you know, the, the layer lines here are gonna be the weak points in all of these, but you shouldn't be moving these enough or, you know, playing with your Raspberry Pis and these trays enough to, for it to matter. Um, not only that, once you get all your wiring in here, it's going to hold that thing down anyway. So it shouldn't move a whole lot, but you know, just be aware, uh, those, those are, you know, shear points. So, um, you know, be careful with your, uh, with your build anyway. Um, let's move on to the faceplate. This is where the complexity lies. So if you look here, there's this little spinner section here. Um, now if you don't have an MMU, you can just print it like this. Um, so what you'd want to do is just lay it on its face like that and it'll print just like that. Now, uh, if you do have an MMU, this is where we're going to add our MMU parts. So let's go back to that, and we're going to go over here and add the part. So load that, and it's going to be the fan spinner. So load that up. We're going to take this thing, and we're going to switch that over to the MMU. And then let's say we're going to print uh, that. We'll make it, uh, let's go black, and then we'll make it a little bit gray so we can see it. And we'll set uh, the f that to that. And then for number two, let's say we're going to set that to white. We'll set it to white. Uh, and that would be this. And so now you can see we have our fan spinner section here in the front. Uh, let's go ahead and lay it face down. 
just like that. Go ahead and move that just a little bit. Zoom out. All right, um, we'll change it to five and five. Slice. And it's simple as that. Now, if you don't have an MMU, like I was saying a second ago, you know, we can just remove this real quick. Let's get rid of that. Slice again. It's just going to print like that. I've done it before. It turns out fine. So, you know, you, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, anyway, so these are the two parts you're going to get today. Well, I guess it's three if you consider the fan spinner, but these are the parts you're going to get today. And then, you know, I'm hoping later this week I'll have the full assembly for you. But, uh, yeah, so go ahead and like and subscribe and, uh, you know, I'll get some more content out. Um, join us on Discord. Let's talk about your builds and any questions you've got, stuff like that. Um, yeah, enjoy what's left of your weekend. Thanks. All right, today I've got something really cool to show. So this is the first of the face plates. So this one, I put a red swirl on um, for the spinner. That one is going to be for the management cluster. But what's really cool is this. The magnets will actually hold the entire face plate up there. So yeah, that's perfect. That'll hold those blades in nicely. But yeah, so I got your magnets in the top there. And it'll actually hold that on there. And that's, I don't know, it's not that light. Um, so yeah, I think that'll that'll work perfectly. And of course, with a new faceplate comes new trays. I had to adjust the width inside um, the tray, I guess, of the trays for the faceplate. So the faceplate had to be reprinted, of course, because of the magnets. But then also I adjusted the size of the trays inside the rack to make them slide in and out easier. And so since I had to reprint um, those because of that, pretty much have to start over on all the trays I had already printed, uh, which was only a couple, but you get the picture. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is coming along nicely. I should have um, all these done here in the next couple of days. That's a huge step forward. All right, so here are the assembled pies. So as you can see, I've got for each of these, you have the Pi. There's an SD card in there for these. I haven't assembled those just yet as far as SD cards and stuff like that. I need to image those. Um, then I've got the um, Adafruit Pi OLED screen in the front. Those things turn out really nice. Um, each one of these has a Pi fan in the front of them as well. And uh, all that wires in, see these are, uh, these are what, 10 centimeter um, you know, jumper cables, uh, male to female. Uh, and then those go directly in there and everything's wired up. So I've got those on, uh, I believe they're five volt, maybe 3.3, but I, eh, I think they're on 3.3. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can wire them up to either one. The Pi, the Pi uh, fans will run on either of those. Um, and, you know, depending on what my temps are, I'll adjust that and may go to five volts on them too. Uh, anyway, so these are the assembled uh, blades. So those are going to go inside that thing momentarily. So um, all looking really good. So, gonna be a fun day today.